the Hubble Space Telescope is the most unbelievable telescope you can imagine. It's like nothing else. In 1946, a large space telescope was just the dream of Lyman Spitzer. By 1986, the Hubble telescope and the space shuttle needed to launch it were very real. Dr. Nancy Grace Roman's baby was set to unlock the mysteries of the universe. After two decades, Hubble was ready. But on the eve of its launch, the shuttle program suddenly was not. Liftoff of the 25th Space Shuttle mission, and it has cleared the tower. The Challenger disaster, caused by a small defective O-ring, did more than pause the Hubble indefinitely. It underscored how a single tiny glitch can cause a catastrophe. After the space shuttle accident, Hubble, which was now ready to fly, had to be stored. The project tried to take advantage of the downtime while we were waiting for the shuttle to be approved to fly again to check as many things as they could. Hundreds of systems were looked at, computer code was looked at. By the end of the decade, the shuttle was back, and with it, the Hubble telescope. Hubble had been so long in development and design. Astronomers all over the world were really anxious to see exactly what could happen once you get that telescope above the atmosphere. On April 24, 1990, the Space Shuttle Discovery took off from Kennedy Space Center in Florida. We are go for main engine start, T minus six, five, four, three, two, one and liftoff of the Space Shuttle Discovery with the Hubble Space Telescope, our window on the universe. The shuttle climbed to its maximum altitude, 340 miles above the Earth, and began the deployment. Discover Houston, you have a go to open the doors. 340 miles up, nothing is simple. Using the shuttle's robotic arm, the crew painstakingly maneuvered the 12-ton telescope out of the payload bay. Steve Hawley has unberthed the arm and has begun to move it into position for grapple of the Hubble Space Telescope. You know, pitch is uh, about 4 degrees off, attitude-wise. Okay. How does it look out your window as far as clearance? Because that's the only thing well, you can't see. Uh, I can't see out your window either. OK, Z is minus 538. And it's coming up nicely. Hubble was free from the cargo bay, but still tethered to the shuttle. The telescope had to deploy its solar arrays. And as the solar arrays were deploying, they stopped. Houston Discovery, it looks like motion stopped with uh, just about one panel showing. And we see that too, Lauren. The DCE is off. This was not a happy development. Nobody knew why the solar arrays had seized up, but everyone realized that if they didn't open, Hubble would not have power. The entire $4.7 billion contraption would float hopelessly into space. I need answers now. Play the fail. Go ahead. Yeah, I don't feel comfortable waiting until after I don't either. That's why I want the answers now. Capcom, tell the crew we want them to press on into EVA, and Light. we'll stop them whenever we have to. The team on the ground instructed the astronauts to get ready for a dangerous spacewalk while they scrambled to figure out how to repair the malfunctioning solar array. Let me tell you, it was dramatic when you're sitting there and you're not sure what's going on and astronauts are suiting up to go out and uh, service the telescope and uh, you know that you're on the clock. With time running out, engineers realized the problem was with the software. Tension on the arrays triggered a shutdown. Discovery is. Discovery, go ahead. We think there may be some problem with the tension monitoring software. We're going to disable the tension monitoring and resend the proc to deploy the minus SDM. Okay, hit it. By overriding the software system, they triggered a manual deployment. Problem solved. Dangerous spacewalk called off. To everybody's relief, the solar arrays completed their rollout. OK, Houston, we see motion. It's fully deployed. Within 10 minutes, Hubble locked onto the sun's power. 
As the shuttle backed away, ground controllers woke up the instruments inside. The crew returned safely to Earth, and all of NASA waited for the payoff. Then the first images came back, and the air went out of the space program again.